That's okay. That'll happen sometimes. I know you guys at home, you're like, oh my god, what a freak. I'm understanding of this man. He, you don't know what it's like. You you ask someone to whore themselves out to you, and when they actually say they will whore themselves out to you, I mean, like, this can be pretty scary. You gotta have performance and stuff. I mean, that's scary. That guy does seem a little too scared, though. He probably could have politely told me no, but whatever. Ooh. She just looks like a short w old woman, <laughs> like when she's walking like that. Hey, dope man! Uh, where are you? I wanna make a pizza out of your body. Uh. Okay, well, I guess, um. Oh! Hello, no man. Pigeon berry boy. Let's see what's going on with you. <sighs> Utsuki's entry. Hey, the dough man's in Utsuki's entry. How seductive. Okay. Oh, whatever. Uh. Is there anything over here? I, uh, picket fence? No? Another obstacle of the average heroine. Her heroin, yeah. I think heroin, like the drug, and heroin as in the hero, female hero, is like the same, isn't it? I keep saying heroin and it makes me think of tar. Heroin. Which I've yet to try on my course of life, trying things. Don't know. Don't know about it. Kids, I say stay away from it unless you have a ton of money and you don't, you don't have a good life. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Uh, people will be like, oh my god, you condone drug use? I'm like, well, I sometimes don't judge. Sometimes, very rarely though. Alright, uh... Oh my god! This is a lot of shit. Maybe that door is unlocked now. The one that was... Oh wait, no, it was... I'm dumb. This wouldn't be, yeah, that wouldn't be unlocked. Uh, huh. I don't know. See, she looks down, it's confusing, but I think she's looking at the door. Because I've, like, mashed the hell out of the X button, which is the interact button and picking up things, um, in that area, so. I didn't, oh, hey! The dead Gaki's eyes seem to be transfixed on a wooden panel. That's funny, because I didn't see that the first time. Oh, <gasps> he fell! can't go back so apparently I did something right right okay cool cool oh my god I gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> yeah hold on I'm gonna do that real quick <laughs> Child's Tale by me. Haha, <laughs> my foot's asleep. Okay. Back to it then. Oh! The movie piece. Uh. <gasps> Who's the guy? He's a pirate. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> He's a 
dopey pirate that cries. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Or not, never mind. <gasps> he threw fire at me! What an asshole! <laughs> God. Oh, you want me to whore myself out? I, well, hold on. I'm in the wrong area. I will whore myself out. I will be the whore of pain! Okay, well, I'll get stuck on things first, though. Let's see who could throw fire first and fastest. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna throw fire at you, motherfucker. I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn like some sort of guy who wants people to pour out for him, but he doesn't have any self esteem. I guess. Poor guy, he's down, lying down, but I mean. Fired first, sir. I like this music, it's very distracting in my <laughs> Who will win in this amazing battle? I don't know. He appears to be going off screen. Did he die? I can't fucking see! <laughs> okay, cool. Shut the motherfucker on fire. No. That's annoying. His animation. Okay. His animation makes it so I can't just hit him. Which is really fucking annoying. Also, my animation does that too, so I guess it works. Oh, he died! Cool. A bloodstained cloth was found on the doke. Doke? What's a doke? Is that like a priest? Or exercise man? Oh, sorry. You died. The end. Okay, anyway. I wish I had more of an ending on it, but apparently not. Okay, doke. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Is, can I examine this guy? Come on, he was just sitting there being cool. Nope. Also, I was miscorrect. Miscorrect. Uh, yeah. Uh, that guy was not... Um, the banana man. No, that was a different dude. <sighs> banana man. Well, maybe the banana man... The Pabakabe is a part of the same sect as this one guy, but, uh, I think those were different guys. Okay, is there a way? How did I get to the shrine? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. We got the Uranus one, right? Uh, yeah, that was in the uh, the door that was sealed with the Uranus thing was in the same hmm. oh well that was I never heard him say that before I mean I have but I usually have to hit him for that to be said just climb up yeah good good I wonder if he can come up here I hope not let's go in here Ooh, so funny oh this guy Never mind. wrong area mm -hmm. Freaking popcorn kernels stuck in my teeth. Okay. I think this is the right area, is it not? <sighs> Doesn't look like it. Right. You guys are probably like, what the shit, Pixie? Pixie! You always a dumb brain! Or the map. I could, but I just. <laughs> Guys, come on. Oh, I'm in the wrongest direction. Alright. Maybe I could go through that hole in the wall. Welcome to the Hole in the Wall Club. If anyone's played Jumpstart First Grade, you'll know what that is. I should do a Let's Play of that, actually. Is there a zombie still out here? I just am walking because I don't want to get eaten, you know? That's a big. Oh! It's. Ah! Haha! It's not locked anymore! Huh. Well, that'll happen. Oh, wait, did this room get gross? I think it did. Okay, what's this? Oh, no. More reading. 
And it had a little cutscene. Well, that's nice. Korea's diary. Blood splatter diary. Kept by Korea. Korea, you need to, like, control your nosebleeds. May 12th. When I fell off the cliff, I thought I was going to die. Um, that's a under understandable. But when I came through, there wasn't even a scratch on me. I thought it was strange awaking in a wicker chest. I asked Utsuki about it. All she did was cry. So sweet of her to be worried. October 3rd. I've been feeling tired and weak for the past few days. Utsuki keeps asking me if I'm alright. She mustn't find out how bad I really feel. October 13th. There are strange marks all over my body. I'm hiding them the best I can. I'm sure my flesh is starting to rot. Ugh. I've caught that horrible disease. I've looked in all my books, but they don't mention it. Utsuki keeps asking me how I feel. I don't like lying. October 25th. Yesterday I met some twins. I don't know when they arrived. But they told me to sleep with the silkworms in the chest for a night. Maybe I was dreaming, but I was desperate. So I did as they said. When I woke, my body felt normal. Ooh. They must have been manifestations of the mulberry god. November- Ugh! Ah. The kernel just fell on my mouth. Okay, I played with Utsuki today for the first time in a while. Perhaps because I hadn't been active for some time, I felt flushed even when night fell. March 4th. Everything will be alright. The twins said that they'll- that I'll get better if I get inside the cocoon again. They said to look for a rat this time rather than a silkworm. Apparently rats are good in bed. <laughs> I must hurry or my arm will rot and fall off or maybe my leg. My leg. I envy Itsuki for her soft, healthy limbs, healthy arms, legs, and neck. Ooh. July 4th. Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, well, anyway. It's Independence Day, but only in America. When I mentioned the twins to Fama, he told me about a ritualistic practice involving resurrection and cocoons. He said that a revived corpse will start to rot, at which point it must become a cocoon, each time fusing with a larger creature. This needs to be done nine times. Nine is the magic number. April 27th. When I woke up inside the wicker chest, I realized that the screensaver went on again. Uh, Utsuki was pushed me off the cliff. Wait, what? I realized it was Utsuki who pushed me off the cliff? She talks nonsense about irises and poems while her while here I am in agony and my body beginning to rot. Ah, I wish I had her healthy skin. That's correct. I had absolutely no choice. No bueno. I think we were possessed. Like that door. Okay. Summoning Mari, living orb of energy exploding on contact. Well, that sounds a little annoying, but it, if it's on your side, I mean, it might be cool. Hopefully it doesn't have friendly fire. Okay. Oh, God. Mm, I gotta get to that shrine. And I think we are going in the right direction. Yep, we are. Okay. So, our sister is Hellspawn? Well, that's not really surprising. Was she not creepy in the beginning? And she was coughing. Coughing is all the signs. All the signs that you need that point to fucking ma black magic and such. If you cough, you're probably a devil. Just saying. <gasps> I coughed the last videos. Am I a devil? Well, yeah. I find bad things funny, so I might be a person that's not very nice. I'm a cool hell spawn, though. Okay, uh, sacred cloth. Venus. I mean, Uranus. I don't know why I thought it said Venus, but whatever. Shrine entry! Woohoo! Actually, making places. Uh, making two places. Well, whatever. There's people down here. Oh! Gotcha! You couldn't even use your animation because you were coming up the stairs and for some reason it just didn't help. It just didn't happen. That that blade is so much better. Okay. Vessel. I'm getting a lot of vessels. This is good, because... When you're doing a let's play, 
I think it's with horror games like this, one of the reasons I do them on easy, besides it's freaking fun and it's a lot quicker. But when you're doing a let's play of a horror game, you kind of want to play it on easy because I think you get more saves and it's nicer to just kind of be like, oh shoot, I gotta stop or something. So, yeah. That's a perk. Hate invisible walls there. This looks like a very big area to run in, but who knows? So I have this area heavily guarded by one khaki. Okay. Mm we just freaking jostle down the stairs. Oh, hey! Safe point. I'm gonna save the hell out of this. From the cleansing ritual, I think so. Uh, uh yeah. How long have I been playing? 32 minutes. Cool, cool. Alright. What time is it? It's almost 4.30. Okay, well, I'll stop here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this segment, or segments, of... Oh, excuse me. Uh, of Kuan. Um... Well, we got far, we got through the shrine, and we figured out things that were a little obvious, but, I mean, you know, whatever. That's just foreshadowing for you. Um, and we killed the whore guy, so that's cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time on Kuan.